Good evening to you and welcome to this short service of night prayer on Sunday the 24th of May, the Sunday after Ascension. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Let us take a moment of quiet to reflect on this day. Let us pray. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Psalm 86 Incline your ear, O Lord, and answer me, for I am poor and in misery. Preserve my soul, for I am faithful. Save your servant, for I put my trust in you. Be merciful to me, O Lord, for you are my God. I call upon you all the day long. Gladden the soul of your servant, for to you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. For you, Lord, are good and forgiving, abounding in steadfast love to all who call upon you. Give ear, O Lord, to my prayer, and listen to the voice of my supplication. In the day of my distress, I will call upon you, for you will answer me. Among the gods there is none like you, O Lord, nor any works like yours. All nations you have made shall come and worship you, O Lord, and shall glorify your name. For you are great and do wonderful things. You alone are God. 
Teach me your way, O Lord, and I will walk in your truth. Let my heart to you, that I may fear your name. I will thank you, O Lord, my God, with all my heart, and glorify your name for ever. For great is your steadfast love towards me, for you have delivered my soul from the depths of the grave. O God, the proud rise up against me, and a ruthless horde seek after my life. They have not set you before their eyes. But you, Lord, are gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger, and are full, full of kindness and truth. Turn to me and have mercy upon me. Give your strength to your servant and save the child of your handmaid. Show me a token of your favour that those who hate me may see it and be ashamed because you, O Lord, have helped and comforted me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. A verse from the book of Joel, chapter 2. I will pour out my Spirit on all flesh, your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. The old shall dream dreams, and the young shall see visions. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Alleluia! The Holy Spirit, the Advocate, Alleluia! Shall teach you all things. Alleluia! Alleluia! Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation, which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The Holy Spirit, the Advocate. Alleluia. Shall teach you all things. Alleluia. Alleluia. So let us pray. We begin by thanking God for the day that has just passed. giving thanks for all those with whom we have spent this day, whether members of our families, or those we have spoken to on the phone, or who have met in the street. We give thanks for the opportunity to worship you today and give you praise for all that you have done in our lives. We thank you for the many blessings 
of this day, for our homes and loved ones, for the food on our tables, for our health. And we pray for those who are in particular trouble, pain or difficulty this day. We pray for any people we know suffering from the coronavirus and for those who care for them. We pray for those who work for the NHS, in our hospitals, doctors' surgeries or in the community. We give thanks for their lives of devotion and service and pray that they may have all the resources they need at this difficult time. Give them courage and hope in their troubles and may they know the strength of your Holy Spirit. And we pray for any amongst our families or friends or loved ones who need the touch of your Holy Spirit at this time. For those who feel far from you. For those who doubt or struggle with their faith. for those who are far from us. Lord, give them comfort in their troubles and may they know the presence of your Holy Spirit upon them. Come, O Spirit of God, and make within us your dwelling place and home. May our darkness be dispelled by your light, and our troubles calmed by your peace. May all evil be redeemed by your love, all pain transformed through the suffering of Christ, and all dying glorified in his risen life. Amen. being made one by the power of the Spirit, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. May the Holy Spirit of God bless and sanctify us, 
so that we may be consecrated in the truth. Amen. <laughs>